the morning coming, and also the night. He said, inquire, ask some of me. What is it that you want me to do for thee? Some of you all in here want God to do some things for you. But God is saying, you want me to do some things for you, but you need to return to me. All right. Oh, yeah. You need to do a replay. Yes. You need to come back to service on Friday night. Yes. Yes. It got quiet up in here. There was a time that he was running to the house of God on the eve of the Sabbath. But now, oh, I feel like preaching myself. I'm home doing my own thing on God's Sabbath. He said, return to the house of God, the church of the living God, the pillar and crown of the truth where the joy of the Lord is going on. Come on, Bishop. He said, I've been good to you. I brought you out of Egypt. On high places. I gave you a house that you didn't have to build. I put food in your refrigerator. I put clothes on your back and you're turning your back on me. Ask me, what is it that you want of me? God said, I want to heal in this place. Yes. Lady, the Lord would deal with me this week about you. God said, I want to work a miracle in your life. I want to confound the doctor. Every sickness that it is. Every disease that the doctor says. God said, I can heal you instantly. I am the God of God. Let me use your bishop. He said, but I want somebody to return to me. Come on back home. Yes, sir. Ooh, my God. I want to do something in this house. I want to work some miracles in this house. I said, Lord, I, I still want to see your glory. The glory is in the miracles. Yeah, right. It's in bringing you out. Some of y'all need a financial blessing. I mean, right now. N not tomorrow, but you need it right now. Yes, God said, if you return to me, come on back home and give me my due service. Oh, be faithful to you. Good God Almighty. Listen to what he said, Hosea 6 and 10. I have seen a horrible thing mm -hmm. in the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. There is the harlotry of Ephraim. Mm -hmm. He said, listen, 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 listen. Go ahead and read it. Verse 11. Also, O Judah, he has set a harvest for thee mm -hmm. when I return the captivity of my people. Mm -hmm. Now, now listen to this. He said, I've seen a horrible thing in the house of Israel. Let me tell you all this. You cannot be whoring around in God's house. You cannot be playing the whore in God's house. You can't sleep around with this one and that one. Oh, y'all will be quiet up here on me. I'm going to preach in a minute. Preach it up! And then think you're going to come to God's house and dance all over this place. God said, return. You want the choir to be a success? Stay out that bed. Come on. Come on, sir. My God. My Lord. Give yourself to fasting and praying. Yes. Dedicate yourself to God. Yes. I got to have 
Man. I got to have me a woman. Put a ring on that finger. Then come to God and say, Lord, is this the one for me? But ask. Is this the man for me? Is this the woman for me? Uh, you have defiled yourself. You have contaminated yourself. Sleeping with this one and that one. God is saying, come on back home. You're like a prodigal son. You don't wallow in your mess. And now it's time to come back home. Yes, it is. The prodigal son got a hold of himself. What am I doing in this hog pen? Yes. I've been raised righteous. I know what is right. I'm going home to my daddy. I'm going to get myself together. And God said, get yourself together. I don't believe in putting people out the church. That was the old church to do. Put folks out. I, I want you to come to God. Come to the altar. He is a forgiving God. Yes, he is. Do you know how some folks are? They just hold stuff on you. Hold stuff in like they have been perfect. Forget about people. People have no hell in the hell to put you in. I serve a God that is forgiven. I serve a God that loves you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That who believe in him yes. should not yes. perish but have yes. have yes. everlasting life yes. thank yes. God for the blood of Jesus yes. there is power in the blood of Jesus yes. there is deliverance yes. in his name yes. there is salvation God. Yes, sir. Lord. He said, come on back home. I'll receive you. I'll put my arms around you. With loving kindness have I drawn thee. My God, let me move on. Let me move on. Let me move on. My God. So he said, Judah, he has set in harvest for me. He said, I'm going to bring you some good crops. Yeah. All the things that God had promised you is yea and nay. Yes. God is a man <coughs> of his word. Yes. There are things, you, that God wants to do. I was listening to me talking about my granddaughter. You have to dedicate yourself yes. to right. God. Yes. That's right. That's what he wants you to do. Yes. Don't forget about who the blesser is. Yes. Right. Yes. Blesser. He is the one That's right. that wakes you up every morning, yes. so in your right mind, and have given you the activity of your limbs. Yes. Every morning, when you awake, you should give us a God, I thank you. Yes. Yes. And while I'm in school, I may not be the best smart student in the class, but I know who is the head of the dean. Yes. Yes. So when you pray and recognize who he is, he will make you the head of the class. So it says in Jeremiah chapter 4, if thou wilt return, O Israel, saith the Lord, this is what he said, return unto me. And if thou wilt put away thine abominations out of my sight, then shalt thou not remove. What is he saying now? Put away the abomination <coughs> out of my sight. Who is it that you worship or give homage to that keeps you from coming the God house. I want you to think. 
when you used to come on Friday evening, the beginning of the Sabbath, you were so happy to get here. But Satan put a distraction there. Yeah. And you're doing things that you never did before. Come on, preach, Bishop. When you used to be here on time and couldn't wait to bless God because all week long you had some stuff that was going on and you said to God, if I get back in your house, yes, Lord, if I can be in the presence Hallelujah. of the saints, because the joy of the Lord yes. is my strength. Yes. Oh, yeah. Who do you worship? Well, no. What is it that's holding you back? He said, Bishop, you don't understand. I'm tired. We're all tired. But it's something about walking in God's house. Uh -huh. Or just to be in his presence. Just to be in the sanctuary. All of a sudden, you feel better. Yes. Oh, God. That was it. No. You stay home. And fall out in the bed. That's what happened. You may rest for about three or four hours and wake up. You know, 12 o'clock at night, you can't sleep the rest of the night. When you could have came to church, enjoyed God, went home and slept the rest of the night. It's a setup. There was time that we were down at 12 or 8. Oh, y'all don't tell the truth. 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. That's when we had less. We didn't have all these automobiles. We had a church band that was picking up the saints of God. But God said, I look at your tribe. Yes. And he blessed you all with a car. So we have about two or three cars. Mm -hmm. You're doing good now. Mm -hmm. And you were faithful to God. And there were so many automobiles up here. Faithful to the mission. We don't need the van anymore. Mm -hmm. Nobody called them. Okay, back on the automobile. So that's a blessing of the Lord. Yes. But seeing like the more He bless us, well, the less we bless Him. Wow. Seem like to me, the more He bless me, the more I want to bless Him. Because He is the blessing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you ain't with me. Oh, no, 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 stay home. It don't even come to Sabbath school now. Oh, oh. <coughs> Bishop, I think you're going to preach. I am preaching. <laughs> he said, I want you to return home. Yes. See, let, can I tell you something, Refuge? Yes. Come on, the Lord said, Church Route 1 and Church Route 15 in 2012 that despite the economy, in spite of people losing their job. See, y'all forget it. But God said, if you prove faithful, yes. you won't lose that job. Yes. Even if you lose your job, he said, I that you it. won't lose your house or your automobile. Yes. Yes. Why? He says, because when I open up the windows of heaven, yes. you're going to pour you out a blessing yes. that you won't have room enough to receive. Oh, oh we got excited. <laughs> <laughs> then the devil said, I'm just waiting. And I'm just waiting because I know after 39 days, after 29 days, you're going right back to your same thing. Israel was the same way. Every time God will bless them, they go back. God going back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. You are the only one that holds your blessing back. God 
Bible says I got it pressed down. I got it shaken together, pressed down, running over, and I want to give it to you. He said, I want yeah. one. Hmm. He said, just return. Yeah. Just return. I want to give it to you. He said, because I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, thou shalt have no other gods before me. So I'm not worshiping. Oh, yes, it is. That thing that's keeping you home from coming into God's house and giving him, if God is jealous. He don't want you to put nothing before him. Your wife, your husband, your children, right. nothing. Yes. No man, right. no woman. When you allow a man or a woman to be your God, you're in trouble. Yes. trouble. Amen. In fact, when some folks, you know, you just like, oh, I love my pastor, I love my bishop. And, and, and you got to be careful. Yes. That they don't make a God out of you. That's right. That's right. You got to say, hold it now. I, 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 you respect the God in me. Yeah. And, and that's it. That's it. Teach, teach. You, you understand what I'm saying? Because yeah. some folks love to be pumped up. Yes. And then if you're not careful, that person become a witch yeah. or a warlock. Yeah. And once they yeah. find out yeah. that you are honoring them yeah. and just overdoing it, they try to put a fear in you. Yes. Yes. God is not in the controlling business. God is a spirit. And you don't worship man. He is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Yes. That's the word. That's the word. That's the word. You don't fear no man. If I don't come to church, God gonna kill me. The devil's a liar. You gotta tell him everything that's going on. That's a witch spirit trying to control you. God is not in the control of business. Fear God, who can destroy both body and soul. I wouldn't be on nobody. I wouldn't be on no one that's trying to control me. I gotta call them up and tell them I'm going on vacation. I gotta call them up and I'm, and I'm going to work. I gotta call them up and tell them this. I gotta call them that. That is not God. That's a controlling spirit. You need to get out of that mess and come back home to God. I don't know how I got there. So here, Jeremiah, no, let, me, let me go here. I'm going to skip. Luke chapter 11 and verse 24. I want y'all to hear this. Luke 11, 24. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and finding none, he saith, I will return unto my house from which I came out. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Uh -huh. Then goeth he and taketh to him seven other spirits mm -hmm. more wicked than himself. Oh and they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Now listen to this. When the unclean spirit is going out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and finding none. He said, I will return unto my house whence I came out. My Lord. The Holy Spirit. Mm, I got to preach this thing. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes, it is, it will guide you into all truth. Yes. Anything before you do anything wrong. The Holy Spirit speaks to your mind and says, stop. Before, when a thought comes into your mind, the Holy Spirit said, stop. And Satan said, do it. Yeah. That's why Paul said, when I would do right, evil is present. It's all around me. 
But you, as a saint of God, have to do it the right way. So when you have the Holy Spirit in you, if you don't read your word, if you don't read your word, if you don't have a prayer life, if you don't have a fasting life, the temple is empty. When you stop reading the word, you give the devil a chance to come in. Yes. Because it's vacant now. You have no word in you. So when the spirit leaves you, you are open to the devil. Jesus. And you kind of wonder why I don't have no more anointing. Mm -hmm. I can't feel it anymore. The devil is coming back looking for a place to rest. Yes. He's coming back inside of you when you had peace, good God Almighty, oh, in your spirit. Oh, and now when you start sleeping around and start doing this and start smoking and replaying mm -hmm. and, and, and drinking and doing your thing, and God took that from you. Yes. When you used to whore around, God took that spirit off of you and then you stopped reading the word. You stop turning on your plate. You, oh my God, God you have no prayer life. And the devil said, I got him now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sneak back in. Mm -hmm. He was trying to straighten you out. Now you're really switching. Oh. <laughs> Get the homosexual spirit on you. Yes. And now you're hanging with folks mm -hmm. that are sweet. Oh. And you can't see the devil because he got your mind blinded. Yes, yes. Your eyes are blinded. Yes. Yes. When you was faithful to God, he was trying to help you. Yes. But now, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is serious. Yes, it is. It is. The Bible says it's an abomination yes. for mankind to sleep with mankind and womankind with womankind. So the devil said, since you stopped coming to church, I'm going to play with your mind. A mind is a terrible <coughs> way. So he, 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 he works with your mind and says, look at this one and look at that one. He's a nasty critic. <laughs> you always have a better chance coming into the house of God. Where the prayers of the righteous are going on. Amen. And he says, so when he cometh, he find it is swept and garnished. When you used to read the word of God, when you used to pray, he said, now I'm back and it's Sweat and it's just empty. You have no more anointing mm. on you. Lord, Your conscience is seared. Mm. You don't feel nothing. Mm. You was dancing. Mm. You was praising God. You was giving Him the glory. Mm. And those, I'm just waiting. Because all the dancing that you're doing, when you go home, you're not reading the word. There's no power in dancing. It's power in the word of God. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. But what is God saying? He is saying that thy word, it's in you. It's become a part of you. Yes, and when you attempt to send the word, we'll find. Yes. yes, yes. Don't, 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 don't you dare. Don't you pick up that Bible, turn the television on. And watch it half of the night and never read a scripture all week. My Lord. My Lord. I know some of y'all here did not pick up the Bible. Not one day this week. And you want God to work a miracle. He said, so I come back 
And I found out that you stop reading the word. Then he goeth, and he takes to him seven other spirits, more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse. In the first. One time you were trying to hide it. Because you was embarrassed. You didn't want nobody to know. But when you stop reading the word, you know what you said? Everybody can see me. It doesn't matter. What is it that gains this whole world? And lose your soul. God is saying, come on back home. Return unto me. He wants to do something for you. 1 Samuel 7, in chapter 3. Can I take my time, y'all? Yes. 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 And Samuel spoke unto all the house of Israel, saying, If ye do return unto the Lord with all your heart, Listen to this. Mm -hmm. Then put away the strange gods and Ashtaroth from among you, and prepare your hearts unto the Lord, and serve him only. And he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. He is saying, listen to this. Put away your strange gods from among you. Prepare your heart unto the Lord and serve him only. And he will deliver you out of the hands of your enemies. Yes, sir. Yes. Do you believe that? Oh, yes. yes. Sometimes God will allow the enemy to come on you and overtake you until you realize who God is. That's right. That's right. It's different if you don't know. You don't know. But you know who he is. Uh huh. Then the children of Israel did put away Balaam and Ashtaroth <coughs> and served the Lord only. They did it for a little while and they served the Lord only. As soon as Moses went to meet God, Aaron said, Find us. We need to have something to keep us going. I feel like preaching up in here now. And somebody said, Well, take off your earrings and, 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 and take off your gold and put it together and let's build us a golden image. And said, This is the God. Somebody has lost their mind. Come on, Bishop. 430 years yes. they have found it. Yes. And he said to Moses, I want you to go down to Egypt and let my toe out of the mind. Side. <laughs> Soon, as they got on the other side, talk about it, Bishop. Build us an image. And this is the audacity to say, This is the God that brought us out. Mm -hmm. That's a slap in the face. For your husband to buy you a mink coat, and you stand up to testify and say, uh, "Bishop bought me a mink coat." That's a lie. No, I, I don't put my name in nothing. The only person I bought a mink coat for is Pastor Wood. Make you play, Bishop. How do you think God feel? Yes. When he took sickness off of you, yes. he put you in a place to stay. He put a roof over your head. He put clothes on your back. Yes. And then you stand up and say, I did it. Oh, I you want to know why God?
God is upset. Yes. He done did too many good too things many good. for us. Yes. 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 God did it. Yes. 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 Oh, my. Himself. He didn't need any help. And he said to you, only thing I want you to do is return unto me, come into my house, and give me my due praise. Thank you, Lord. Friends, to me, we're trying to pump y'all up. Some y'all just look. Why, why is he doing that? Nobody should have to pump you up. Man. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus. Yes. From the well. 
salvation. This week's Isaiah 44, 20, 22. I have blotted out like a thick cloud. Oh my, my God. Mm -hmm. And like a cloud thy sins. Y'all y'all in the day. I have blotted out as a thick cloud by transgression. Mm -hmm. and, and as a cloud by sin. Then he says this. Return unto me. Uh -huh. For I have redeemed thee. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. Sing, oh, you have it. Uh -huh. For the Lord has done. Yes, sir. Shout, ye lower parts of the earth. Mm -hmm. Break forth into singing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Whole forest and every tree therein. Mm -hmm. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob. He has redeemed Jacob. Uh -huh. Glorified himself in Israel. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord thy redeemer. What did he say? And he me from the womb. Mm -hmm. oh, I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Who maketh all things. Mm -hmm. Who stretches forth the heavens alone. Mm -hmm. Who spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. Yes. He said, I have recovered yes. you. Yes. <laughs> I redeem you. Yes, Lord. I set you free yes. from that tight spot you was in. Oh, uh, Y'all ain't get that one. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. He rescued you. There's an old song. The saints are saying, Oh, 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 oh